What's up, YouTube? Please excuse my background um, and my half did makeup. I'm not even dressed, like, <laughs> but I really needed to come on camera to um, get this video out the way. So let me hop straight into it. So I was contacted by a company. I always look like in the mirror instead of at the camera. Forgive me. But anyways, I was contacted by a company called My First Wig. So yeah, they sent me this lovely hair. Um, this is a full lace wig and it is 20, 20 inches, I believe. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I put all the correct details and links below. So yeah, please check out this description box. What is wrong with me today? <laughs> but um yeah i was sent this beautiful wig by a company called my first wig and like i said this is the brazilian 20 inch full lace wig so yeah as you can see i put it on it's like this is probably like the um easiest wig i have ever worked with this company um specializes and first wig so anybody that have never worn a wig before and would like to try one out i really would suggest this website it came with a full kit of everything that you will possibly need to apply your wig so yeah that's like <laughs> a super thumbs up to them um yeah i really have nothing bad to say about this wig i really don't like thin like hair even though I, I think this wig is a little bit on the thin side but like i said it is a full lace so that is why it is as thin as it is so yeah um i applied this wig using just got to be glue spray so yeah super easy super like if you if this is your first time applying a wig this tutorial will be super good for you because all I use was spray and beeswax to slick down my edges. And yeah, I really didn't do. I really didn't have to do much plucking to the um to the um wig. I didn't have to pluck it at all. Only thing that I plucked was a little bit of uh, baby hair, and yeah, I didn't even bleach the knots. I just put foundation on my knots. So yeah, if this is your first time wearing a wig, you came over to the right video because I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. So yeah, stay tuned. So here's the packaging that the wig came in, super cute. And as you can see, I'm just opening up the box and they have a wig bag, which will come in handy. And the wig bag just has my first wig on it. Quality wigs for for beginners. And then they just have this little pouch with my first wig on it. And it have a bunch of goodies inside. Then it just have instructions and what type of hair it is. And then it have a wig cap, which we always need that. So now I'm going to show you guys what's inside of the bag. It just came with a My First Wig rack tail comb and that came in handy because who doesn't need a rack tail comb? Then it just came with bobby pins which will come in handy because we always gotta pin them braids up. And then it just came with a frizz tamer, um, flyaway tamer. This I have never used before, but it really came in. And then I just have two My First Wig clips. So, yeah, we're going to jump right into this tutorial. Oh, yeah, okay. And then it came with a band. So, I didn't have time to bleach my knots, so I'm just going to cover my um, lace with foundation instead it works just as well as bleaching the knots if not better so yeah
so now I'm just gonna sew my elastic band on I took the elastic band and I placed it behind my ears and if it stretched ear to ear I knew that was enough band that I needed so I cut off the excess and as you can see I'm just placing it right a few inches above the flap and I'm going to proceed to sew it on and then I'm going to sew it on the other side as well. So basically, once your band is sewed on, your wig should be fitting a little bit more snug on your head. But yeah, right here I'm just showing you guys how I styled my wig off of my head. And this is how I was going to wear the wig at first. But then I decided that I wanted to style it a little bit different. So yeah, I'm going to show you all that in a minute. So now as you can see, the wig is on my head. It's fitting pretty snug, even though it's not bonded down yet. So yeah, if you wanted to wear this wig glueless, you can. But um, now I'm just cutting a little bit more of my extra lace off and I'm gonna proceed to bond this wig down. I'm just taking my Gots To Be Glue Free Spray and I'm going to place the lace down and then I'm going to blow dry it. As you can see, I'm kind of combing the hair out so the, um, the spray won't get on the hair and it won't look all like clumped up. So yeah. So as you can see, that lace is laid, honey. This is the first time I received a lace that I really didn't have to do nothing to as far as like plucking and applying powder after I bonded it down. This really matched my skin to the T and I was like so in love. So now I'm just gonna get ready to style my hair and lay down some baby hair.
Okay, so as far as my baby hair, I just basically took a small section from the front of the hairline and I'm taking some beeswax and I'm laying it down. I did cut the hair with a razor. So yeah, um, I tried to cut it like as short as possible, but not too short. Just like I tried to mimic my own baby hair for a natural looking swoop. Then I'm just going to freeze it with my freeze spray. I'm just trying to take my tweezers and thin out that baby hair a little bit because I don't want it to be too thick and look like fake. So now I'm just going to take my press comb because I need this lace to be as flat as possible. And yeah, this comb was really hot, so be careful. <laughs> That's why I was doing that. The steam was like coming through my lace. So now I'm just going to take a piece of hair and I'm going to wrap that around my ponytail to hide the rubber band and I'm going to um, close it with some beeswax and I'm going to spray some of my free spray on there and then I'm going to lay my flat iron on there. now i'm just doing my sideburns cutting trying to make it look a little bit more natural So now I'm just going to take my fly away tamer and I'm just going to lay it on the flyaways. This product was like so good. I thought it was going to be like a little greasy, like wax like, but it really wasn't. I really can't explain like what this is made out of. I've never used something like this, but I really like it and I will be using it on all of my wigs. So yeah, now that I'm all done with styling this hair, I was so in love with this wig. Like I said, this wig was sent to me from my first wig. All of the correct links will be in the description bar below, so check it out. This was a full lace, so you can part this hair wherever and however you would like. Um, they do have a six inch parting space in the front so yeah most um companies only carry four to five inches so yeah um there's nothing really bad that i can say about this hair i'm gonna have so much fun with this wig <laughs> so yeah um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up 
and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and yeah i will see you guys in the next video <laughs>